What's up guys? Andy Fogart here for King Metals and uh, it's cold. Today we're going to go over a few tips for well, MIG welding in the cold weather and things you should be concerned about and things that you really don't have to worry about at all but everyone thinks that you do. So let's do it. Do I need to preheat my metal? Now keep in mind that when I'm talking about cold temperatures, I'm talking about cold temperatures. I'm talking about at least freezing or mostly below freezing temperatures. Cold rolled steel, mild steel, uh, even some stainless steel. You don't have to preheat the material. I think everybody wants to believe that you need to do that because, well, everyone's freaking cold and they want to warm themselves up with a torch and just say that it's because they need to heat up their metal. Now, aluminum, you will need to preheat, but that also is going to change depending on the thickness, the, the type of aluminum that you're welding, but it's also just generally a good idea to preheat most of your aluminum anyway when you're welding. I know, probably gonna get some flack on that one, but it's true. Okay, tip number two, uh, and this has to do with, the, again, these extreme temperatures, that is your auto darkening helmet. Every helmet is gonna be a little bit different. You wanna read the specs on your helmet, and if you're not sure if you didn't keep the manual on your helmet, who keeps the manual on their helmet? You can easily do a simple Google search, but most of these helmets are only rated up to certain temperatures, whether those are really low temperatures or really high temperatures. Now that doesn't mean that the helmet itself is gonna fall apart, but in extreme cold temperatures, the computer inside your helmet, no matter how beefed up it is on power, it will start to slow down. Now it's not gonna be like crazy slow, but as we all know anytime you've had any sort of delay on your helmet, those flashes, they add up super, super quick and it will flash burn your eyes and it that's just not a good place to be. So in extreme temperatures, you will definitely wanna take care of your helmet and keep it in a warm place, which you should be doing anyway, but I understand not everyone brings their helmet inside of the house when they're done in their unheated shop, right? Ooh, all right, so final tip, and that is we're gonna talk about gas and flux core wire. Now, if you are in these cold environments, you probably are experienced this, especially if you're using an argon and CO2 mix. That tank of gas might not really be working the way that it normally works in the summertime. And the reason for that is, and I'm not gonna go into all the technical details is about this, but the simplified version of this is that extreme cold weather will actually cause that argon to turn into a liquid. And that is obviously not what you want inside of your gas tank. Now, this can all be adjusted. It doesn't mean that you don't need to use mixed gas. It just means that when you are actually going to your dealer to get your gas, explain to them the problem that you're having, and they should be able to adjust how they fill the tanks as far as how much pressure they put into the tanks so that, that doesn't happen. Now, alternatively, if you need to do something in a pinch and you don't have time to go get your gas figured out, you can use flux core wire. Flux core wire is gonna work just great in cold weather. It's just, you know, you're changing over flux core wire, so you're gonna need to change over all the things that you need to to use that wire from your tips to your MIG settings, all of that. But it will work in a pinch and eliminate those problems you were having with your mixed gas tank. All right guys, so that's it for this one. I hope these tips helps you uh, navigate welding in the cold weather. So if you're having any issues with your MIG welding, hopefully these clear these up for you. And if you have any tips on welding in the cold weather, share them with us, let us know, because I'm always open for more ways to stay warm and keep my welds nice and clean in the cold weather. All right guys, that's it for this one. Hope you guys are preparing for Christmas, because it's coming soon. Stay warm, and I'll see you guys in the next one.